We rely on our apps every day. But who do developers rely on to keep things running smoothly? New Relic empowers coders to please the mobile consumer. Can this tech star keep your portfolio running optimally? Over the past few months, the pure growth stocks have gotten at least some of their groove back, which makes this a terrific time to come out to San Francisco and take a closer look at what's happening with some of these high-flying, cutting-edge tech plays. Take New Relic, N-E-W-R. It's a cloud-based software company that's very meta. New, New Relic's platform helps companies understand, monitor, and measure what their business software is doing and how users are interacting with it, and they do it in real time. Their analytics engine acts like a sophisticated dashboard, providing clients with vast insights into their own digital operations, allowing them to fix problems before they happen, giving them a treasure trove of data about what their customers are doing. In short, if you're running a business these days, especially one with a web presence, you've got so much software running that you need a software analytics firm in order to understand it all. And that's where New, Re New Relic comes in. Oh, this, like so many other high-flying stocks, not profitable. New Relic got slammed last winter, pulling from $40 11 months ago down to 20 bucks at the market-wide lows in February. But lately, the stock has been making a big comeback, trading up to $36 and change, giving us a terrific gain of around 25% since we last spoke to the CEO a little more than three months ago, in part because the company reported a super strong quarter with very bullish guidance at the beginning of August. So can this red-hot cloud name keep climbing? Yesterday, I got a chance to check in with Lou Cerny. He's the founder and CEO of New Relic to find out more about his company and its prospects. Take a look. Lou, look, we could talk about the unbelievable growth, 54%. I don't have many companies that can do that. We talk about an amazing revenue ramp. But I want to talk about what happens when you come to New York and go to your favorite place for a cup of coffee. Well, I love coming to New York, Jim. It's a wonderful city. And when I do, I make a beeline for Dunkin' Donuts. And what Dunkin' Donuts is doing and what most uh, big restaurant chains are doing right now, they're moving digital. I can pre-order my coffee and my donut on my phone, and I can skip the line and get straight to my, my hot coffee. But how do you deliver that great digital experience? New Relic is the dashboard for that digital experience. We measure how many people are ordering their coffees and their donuts, not only for Dunkin' Donuts, but for 14,000 companies. What's going on in their digital business? We do that in real time for our customers. All right, so let's say I didn't use New Relic. I just did it the old way. Uh, alienate customers versus the guy who does it the New Relic way. Right. If you know that you can't, if you don't measure something, how can you stay control of it? How can you improve it? So right. customers without New Relic aren't measuring their digital customer experience. And if you can't measure it, then you don't know how to improve it. And, and often, uh, well, let's just say we do three things for our customers. First off, we make sure they're open for business. Okay. Is the site working? Is the mobile app working? Then we measure the customer experience, and then we help them deliver better business results as a result of understanding their digital customer. Well, okay, so I understand digital customer. I go to an REI in the middle of nowhere, okay, in Arizona, and they knew about what I cared about, and that's new relative. Well, again, dig the whole loyalty programs are moving digital, too, right. right? Everyone has a phone in their pocket. That's better than carrying a card around. And so now digital loyalty programs, e-commerce, that's all changing because of the cloud. That's why there's so much going on here at Dreamforce. The cloud is really enabling companies to do all these amazing things. And we're the dashboard for all these cloud digital initiatives. Okay, so if you're the dashboard, how do I pay you uh, and how do you make money? Well, it's real straightforward, and we've got a nice, um, we, we believe, a system that scales well for our customers and for our business. Take Airbnb, who started with us back in 2008 or 2000. Yeah, very early days. And uh, as you can imagine, they were a small customer with us at the time. They were a small company. But as Airbnb has grown, so is their business with us. We've probably done about 20 transactions with Airbnb over time as their, as their business has grown. Um, so is their investment 20 in different kind, not 20 different growth transactions, transactions with Airbnb that are basically saying, our website is growing, and so our investment in New Relic grows along with it. Okay, so Lou, when I think about your business, I know that you've got a total addressable market. The last time I saw you, that is a very good vertical that we're talking yeah. about. But I see new things that are coming that make it so that the company has a total addressable market that could be substantial, substantially more, even though your revenues are great as it is. 
Well, it is, and we're excited about, about our market. Uh, you know, historically, we've been about measuring the software, running in the mobile device, running on the server, running in the cloud. But what about the infrastructure that that software runs in, all that Amazon Web Services infrastructure? We're introducing a new product called New Relic Infrastructure that we think delivers complete visibility that our customers are looking for and increases our t total addressable market by a very substantial margin. And so what will that mean only for shareholders if your addressable market is this much bigger? Well, we've just got more products to sell to our existing customers, and we believe over time it's going to fuel a steady stream of growth for our business. I, I can't uh, not do this. One of the favorite companies that are for our audience on Mad Money is Under Armour. Yeah. And I just read that you guys have just affiliated with Under Armour, and that sounds like something that everyone knows is growing like leaps and bounds. Well, the Under Armour CEO is uh, publicly Kevin on Black. record. Yeah, he's, he's a genius, a great entrepreneur, and he's been public about saying about how his business's future is all about digital and technology. Right. They made a large investment in it. How do you measure the return on that digital investment? They use New Relic to measure the return on their digital investment. And, and we are we're in, at the core of measuring what's going on with their digital offerings. And you have 15 customers that are paying you more than a million bucks? Um, that's the last number we've shared. Okay, fair enough. I know it's during a period um, where we're not supposed we, to... We're, we're not done there, that's for sure. Okay, and then I just want people to understand that your core business is applications performance monitoring, and they're going to want to know what that is because you use APM throughout all the public filings, and sure. I want everybody who buys the stock to understand what APM is. So that's the first product we've launched, and it's about 70% of our business okay. right now, so we've diversified far beyond that. But you start with monitoring the software. Every time you buy something online, you you log into Airbnb, there's a bunch of software that's running in the cloud to make that happen. And when that software doesn't work, it's very, you know, business doesn't work. Right. And so we measure the software running in the cloud to, to make sure that it's working for our customers. But then we expanded beyond that to go into measuring what's going on in the mobile device, what's going on in the browser, and now what's going on in the infrastructure. So you got one holistic view of the entire environment. And if they didn't have you and something went wrong, when would they know? Imagine driving a car without a dashboard, Jim. Like, you know, you don't know if you're, the car stops because there's no gas in the tank, because the oil, because the engine's overheating, all right? So we're like that dashboard. We go far deeper than five metrics. We're looking at everything in that system in real time. Without a dashboard, you don't know when your car is going to stop. Well, I think we should stop right there because I think people understand exactly what that means. Okay, that's Lou Surdy. He's the CEO of New Relic, found the company, and it's growing the fastest of any of the companies we're interviewing today. Booyah! Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.